Hey guys, Sasha von Hippocuse.com. We are still in beautiful Munich in Bavaria in Germany and uh, I guess you're all familiar with this handset. It's a Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the very first ice cream sandwich uh, smartphone that got introduced back, I think it was in October in Hong Kong. Um, but we're not talking about the Samsung Galaxy Nexus right now, but even though that I would use it for some comparison reasons, that's the Samsung Galaxy S2, I think uh, one of the most successful smartphones in the history of Samsung. Uh, sold over 20 million times. I bought this one last summer in uh, Taiwan and therefore one of the lucky few to already get the original Samsung ice cream sandwich update and here it is. So um, let's check it out. Um, there's a new lock screen and when I'm opening it, it looks like, oh wow, this is a ice cream sandwich. Let's touch with. And it could also be uh, on, on, on gingerbread because I can't really see a difference. Over here we have a picture of um, gingerbread and ice cream sandwich. It's kind of hard to tell you what is ice cream sandwich and what is gingerbread. Here's the gingerbread one, a slightly different icons in the notification bar and a different uh, bar for the Google search. And you know what, you can't even tell if someone upgraded his phone from uh, gingerbread to ice cream sandwich. And that's especially kind of interesting for a company like Samsung who made fun out of Apple with this little part of their commercial. Check it out. Uh-oh. Blogs are saying the battery looks sketchy. You know, if it looks the same, how will people know I upgraded? Doesn't 4G? Say. Is it 4G? It doesn't say. Whoa. What she got there? Not sure. What is that? Guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, bro. Can we see your phone? Uh, sure. Can I see it with my hands? Oh, have you seen this thing? Ooh. Check out the screen. This thing is huge. It's pretty massive. And it's got 4G speed. It's magnificent. Samsung. Samsung? That's yeah. a Samsung. Yeah. I could never get a Samsung. I'm creative. Dude, you're a barista. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at ice cream sandwich and let's really see if it's all the same. Well, first, what you notice is uh, when you're pressing or when you're holding the home button, it comes up with this little new task manager where you can easily close apps just by swiping from the left to the right. Underneath here, at, on the bottom, they still have the Samsung task manager, which is quite interesting. It tells you about the RAM and what you downloaded and whatnot. Um, the first impression regarding the performance is, is not too bad, but as soon as you have like seven or eight uh, home screens with different widgets and more installed apps, I tell you what, it feels a little bit sluggish, especially when I compare this to this Galaxy Nexus. What I would also like to show you is, let's check out the applications over here. Can you see that? So there's a slightly different animation. Plus we have this widget tab, which is completely missing here. I'm getting this nice preview of the widget that I can put on my home screen. While over here, I just need to go back to the home screen, need to you know, add an empty one, then just press on it, go to widgets, and then I should guess how it will look like, right? Here we go. So that's their, that's their preview. And look, look how I'm messing it up, just by, just by pressing on another widget. I think it's absolutely horrible. It makes me mad to see that they somehow screwed up this fantastic um, vanilla ice cream sandwich experience with a touch list. I tell you one thing, I really love their, their email client and their calendar client. I think it's, these are one of the best apps on the Android market or in the Android world, but touch list is just not very appealing to me. Um, let's check out uh, maybe some benchmarks to see if there are any uh, performance improvements. So let's take a look at Quadrant. Okay, we're almost there. If you're comparing this to the stock gingerbread um, results, I think they were around 3,000 points. So let's see what's happening uh, with ice cream sandwich. Of course, you want to proceed. Ooh, exciting. 3,991. So that's about 25% faster. Uh, compared to um, the stock rub on gingerbread. But I tell you one thing, the, the benchmark that we did was Quadrant a year ago was a different Quadrant at that time. 
So this is the multi-core optimized one. So actually, we should also do a benchmark um, on the um, on Gingerbread with the new quadrant. But anyways, we got a number. It's almost 4,000 points. Another well-known benchmark is, of course, uh, the Sun Spider uh, JavaScript benchmark that's running in a browser. So let's check out how the Samsung Galaxy S2, which just shut up the display, is going to perform over here. That would take a while, so we'll be back soon. Here we go. So it's 1800 milliseconds. And this should be around the same, well, it is around the same result, I think, as the very first Samsung Galaxy S2. No, you know what? With the stock browser, that was like 3000. 3,000 something, like 3,600 or whatever. So this is definitely a huge improvement compared to um, the, uh, the stock browser on Gingerbread for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So definitely some improvement when it comes to performance, but there is another disadvantage that I would love to show you because Google has been really pitching this uh, when they introduced Ice Cream Sandwich and th that's about these contact um, cards. Um, here's mine on Nicole's phone, so it's kind of aggregating all my personal data onto one little page. So I have my US number on here, there's my Taiwanese one, there's my German one, all my different email addresses, my Google Plus profile, my WhatsApp messenger, and which group I am, and all of this stuff. So that's really neat, and this is something very, very special from Ice Cream Sandwich, and I really love this. Um, what about the Ice Cream Sandwich version from Samsung? I go to contacts and go to my contacts and let's choose Aaron over here well there's just a phone number and that's about it and just telling you in which group he is but that's it and what I also hate is it's kind of aggregating from from Gmail each and every person I've ever emailed which is weird so I have to uh, precisely go to my contacts because over here are all the contacts that I've added to uh, my Gmail or my Google Apps account while well, I don't want to mess around with over 4,000 contacts when you're searching for a phone number. So that's definitely something that can be very annoying. And yeah, so that leads me to the conclusion that TouchWiz still sucks on the Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm sorry, Samsung, you know that I love your devices. But uh, TouchWiz is definitely uh, a launcher for me. Um, you haven't really taken care of the advantages of Ice Cream Sandwich when it comes to this fantastic new contact card, uh, when it comes to the preview of widgets, when it comes to performance, because I think uh, TouchWiz is quite a bottleneck. This little TIO map SOC on the Galaxy Nexus feels way more responsive compared to yours over here, and you definitely have a lot of more uh, juice in here on the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, with the Exynos SOC. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm getting the Cyanogen Mod 9 nightly build on my Samsung Galaxy S2 because I'm also having problems uh, with apps that are crashing, especially the Ice Cream Sandwich keyboard. Um, today, about for about two hours, all my contacts were gone, which was kind of weird, and all of a sudden they were showing up again. Um, anyways, um, I would love to have a real vanilla experience of Ice Cream Sandwich. I'm just not a big TouchWiz uh, fanboy. Maybe you love TouchWiz even more than I do. Um, so if you're happy with it, then it's a perfect launcher for you. Uh, for me, it's not. That was just a little preview or first impression of Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 on the Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.